In the other attachment situations where parents don't have that kind of capacity to be very present in their own skin and present in their own relationships, what happens is children will pick up, in the case of avoidant attachment, a feeling like there is no internal intention of my caregiver to know me. Some children then experience that there's no one to know. And there's this deep sense of emptiness. And what happens is, in those children grown into adolescents and then into adults that I work with, what I see is that the, the way they look at the world is as if the world were only one aspect, the physical aspect, that which is touchable, measurable, weighable. And those people just see reality as purely on the physical plane of existence, this physical aspect of reality. So if you have a plane of reality, one side of that plane is physical. Of course the physical world is real. But another side that's equally real is the mental side, the subjective internal sea that fills us with feelings and thoughts and hopes and dreams, impulses, desires, longings. In the group of avoidantly attached kids, there's this amazing blindness to the sea inside. And this way of understanding it through the initial mirror neuron system interaction is that they don't have any experience that their caregivers saw that world so that world is not created inside of themselves. <laughs>